Hello, thanks uh, for joining the CDFTOC meeting. So today is May 24th. Uh, we made a break two weeks ago because of KubeCon and many people traveling. But now um, I guess we are all back uh, to the common schedule. So we can have a quick sync up and I don't expect uh, many topics to be covered today. But still we can start working on that. So one of the topics which still concerns me is meeting time, because we voted, there was no consensus. Then uh, basically I defaulted to the meeting time which we had before for PM UTC. Uh, so my expectation for that is that until we complete elections, uh, this is what we stick to. And for elections, we basically uh, wait for governing board to act on that. And yeah. So I sent a message a while ago, so I'm not sure whether we have um, anything planned for governing board right now. Okay, so news. So Kara, would you like to present or should I do that? Is this on uh, CD events gone? Um, yes. You're welcome to add your comments. I am extremely sad that I wasn't there, but um, mm -hmm. most of the others in this call were, by all accounts and from watching online, it was a fantastic day, very well attended, and uh, the talks were excellent. I, I, uh, I am so pleased with how it went, and I'm so pleased with everyone who spoke. Thank you so much, everyone who participated and everyone who attended. Um, so it was a very good day, but tell me your impressions from on the on the ground. So I had to depart right after my talk with Shruti, so I missed uh, most of the day. And for the rest of the people who are around, I guess only Fatih was there. Yeah, can you hear me? But uh, I am still getting used to Davy. Mm -hmm. Can you hear? Me? Yeah. I think the day was good, like both what you said, Oleg, and what you said, Kara. I think the number was like, it's like the number of people in the room didn't go down less than 30. And I think we had like 50 people online, something like Emily was talking about some numbers. So we had between like 700 to 100 people, depending on like when you check. So the interest was high and the talk were great. Like, uh, I don't want to. Highlight any of them, but there were a few talks highlighting some like answering questions like why this work is important, why this project is important. I think we need to, you know, focus on such aspects of it because, like, yet yeah, developers get why this project is important for us, but we need to look different ways to tell the story as well. Maybe Terry. This may come into your way as well, like in on best practice side, for example, under interoperability, you know, topic or area as like how some other organizations are addressing these things and CDRs could be one of the ways to overcome those issues. But yeah, in summary, today was great. I think for you all like for it was similar for you. I never met with Shruti or Brad or others in person. This was first time seeing all those people we have been working. Together, so yeah. it was great. Yeah. yeah, I met quite a lot of people that I have never met before from uh, yeah. the CDF community. So I have never met Billy, Melissa before, I believe. Uh -huh. We haven't spoken for a long time. Uh, same for Fatih, same for uh, Brett McCoy. So for me, it was definitely nice. Well, sadly, I uh, had to depart, and uh, unfortunately, I will miss CDCon, I will miss uh, the next KubeCon, so for me, it was basically last trip for a long, long time, so, yeah, it was still nice to meet everyone. Now, I've seen you after 10 years, I think, Oleg, you were young, when we met each other in Stockholm. Yeah, let's see. Okay. To, to your, just let me interject to your point, Fatsi, about um, broadening who we're speaking to about the events. One of the things that came up in the last um, event SIG meeting this week was possibly, as, as I think you, you, you know this, uh, writing a white paper and then looking into what support from the CDF we could have for that. Um, but that, I think, would 
help quite a lot and, and be a great starting point for having a wider sort of starting a wider conversation in the community with different groups. And that probably links on to your next topic, Oleg, which is uh, the sort of PR launch of, of CD events. It's, it is a little bit funny because we, we did start the project and bring it into the CDF many months ago now. But um, between CD events con, this just happened and it was great. And um, upcoming CD con, we um, are doing a bit at, at the CDF of a, of a PR launch. We had originally planned for it to be more focused on CDCon, but then for reasons I don't control, it was decided to to move that forward a little bit and sort of do a soft launch with um, in parallel with CD EventsCon because that event was getting a lot of traction and it was good to give support to that uh, and use that to build up to, I think, more more PR work around and, and more just communication around um, CDCon itself. So that's currently the plan. And we are hoping to have more um, sort of more companies involved. I certainly, if you have your, your marketing department of your the companies you're working for, if they would like to be involved, then we do want to liaise with them. And, yeah, uh, I guess my marketing department won't be involved anymore after uh, uncoordinated launch because we did a lot of arrangements. And then when this launch happened, uh, it created a lot of uh, struggle on my side, for example. Uh, because, uh, yeah, so we will be still doing engineering blogs, etc. but I'm not sure about involvement of official marketing department. So, so Carl, reach out to Tracy if you need anything from Deploy Hub or, or, or Telios. Okay, great. So uh, Brad McCoy, who Oleg met, is from uh, the Ortelius project out of Australia. And he's doing a bunch of work around Captain and Argo in Ortelius. Actually, New Zealand. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, it's great that we have this project officially launched. So it basically clears the path towards alpha release and additional adoption. We got some traction, some discussions. Actually, I was at uh, open source at uh, Siemens conference last week on Wednesday, and somebody came uh, and asked, uh, I don't recall the company name, about CD events announcement and uh, actually when they would be able to adopt it. They use GitLab, they use Jenkins, they use Argo, and uh, they want to integrate uh, everything into a single uh, system using CD events. Well, maybe we will get some contributors out of that, I don't know, but at least it was a nice conversation. And it's a direct outcome of these announcements because they saw it on LinkedIn, I believe. Great, great. Um... And definitely, if they want to be involved in, in the project, um, yeah, it would be great to have a conference as well. Yeah. So then, um, yeah. Anything else about the uh, CD events launch? No, I mean, this week there, there might be one or two more articles coming out, and also we'll be doing a blog post. Um, Andrea is, is taking a look writing it up on CD events con itself. Mm -hmm. This is great. Oh, uh, yeah. Call for papers for KubeCon is open until uh, the next week. So it's probably a great opportunity to apply. Okay. So the next uh, community CD Foundation adoption. So it's just a quick uh, update. Uh, so yeah, we are doing QC meetings uh, on this platform. I also uh, do, I'm doing some experiments with Jenkins for webinars, etc. But ultimately we need um, assistance from communities and from my CDF outreach team to do the migration. And my question uh, <clears throat> to the Continuous Literature Foundation is how much time do we actually have? Because the previous communication I've got about um, by the, that uh, it would be rolled out in Q1. And then uh, basically Zoom um, and meetup.com would be deprecated. Is it still a correct timeline or is it a, a new timeline? 
Yeah, I wouldn't worry about your your Zoom being deprecated. We're not going to leave anyone in the lurch. Um, I am not handling the bevy rollout. Uh, Roxanne is actually, but she, she was off um, for a month. I, I think you probably know that already. So that's probably why there has been little communication around this latest uh, development with bevy. Mm -hmm. Last month. She's but, uh, basically, we are not at risk of uh, Zoom going down, let's say, in one month. No, no, no. We, we wouldn't. Uh, no, no, sorry, not Zoom, uh, meetup.com. Zoom is uh, the easier part. Okay. Well, I think we should be fine. So, basically, yeah, the platform kind of works with all uh, the comments which we brought up about uh, the need to RSVP, very work messages, uh, landing in your inbox, uh, which you cannot really edit with the current system, etc., etc. But well, at least it does the job, so you can live with it. Are you, um, just for feedback, and you can give me more feedback, Saying, and, and I guess yeah, we uh, had a discussion with Roxanne before, so we can take it offline because it's not exactly the QC part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I'm doing a Jenkins online meetup next week. Uh, uh, one of my main feedback is that we don't get assistance from CDF staff right now because we wanted to have CDF a webinar. Ultimately, we were unable to do it because uh, nobody provided us with chapter, nobody provided us with YouTube access. Even though I asked many times, and finally I ended up using uh, Captain Resources. So again, it's not a complaint. I understand that uh, people were busy on vacations, etc. But uh, if we want to roll out this platform, we need to have more people than Roxana available to help with administration. Hey, uh, Oleg, is it possible? Do you know to open an issue with LFX about Bevy? Is there like a category in Jira for Bevy? Uh, no, you have to go to LFX portal on this course. So currently, if you want to bring up issue, you have to go there. Right. Because I'm wondering if we just start making sure that we have issues at the LF level that we may get some better traction. Mm. Well, right now, so there are some issues with platform per se. Um, yeah, I'm not sure who is currently a contact because before that I was working with Shubra directly on LFX feedback for all of the tools. So now yeah, uh, I'm not sure who will be the next leader for uh, LFX tools. Right. Uh, right now these positions are vacant, so both for PM and for tech lead. So maybe yeah just dumping it uh for the support portal is all we can do right now okay mm -hmm. i can send you a link to this course okay mm -hmm. okay so basically that's it so moving on to the next topic yeah, toc elections Basically, the ball is on the governing board. We had a conversation with Michelle about what we need from the governing board. At the same time, I'm not sure whether we are meeting in May. Um, my understanding is that uh, there is no meeting planned right now because we're still uh, meeting every quarter, even though we agreed to do monthly meetings, I believe. So there is likely to be a governing board meeting um, at CDCon itself that's being arranged now. Um, and then after that, we will be looking at a, a much. Yeah, so our problem with uh, yeah, we have um, TOC members. So if we press it with agreed uh, decisions uh, for TOC member seats, uh, they are vacant by the time of CDCon. So if you do not work on that asynchronously, it means that if we have a discussion at CityCon, uh, then it will take another few weeks uh, to get it handled. And basically it means that uh, TOC is half functional for one month or so. Yeah, I could go either way on that. I mean, if we have to be in a limbo for a month, um, mm -hmm. I think well, we, we could manage that. Okay, it's summer break anyway. Yeah. So. It'd be great to get it done before that, but I know it's uh, it could be a, a, a tough lift. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So it means uh, that, um, yeah. So I'll uh, take it uh, with Michelle and uh, discuss the approach, but um, yeah, if June, I think we can also live with that. I believe we will be five or so, so there is technically a quorum uh, and uh, well, there is no issues with conflicts. So, yeah, we can go forward. Okay. So I'll uh, make notes uh, right now. And yeah, so the next topic was CDCon check in. Uh, do we need something from the QC site on that? I'm sorry, CDCon, and then what was the second word? Check in. So basically, just understand like, whether anything is needed from the TOC side. No, not, not that I have top of mind at all, but I, I will pay you if anything should come up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm also not aware about anything. So the agenda, the, um, we have um, additional events like CD events and the Contributor Summit. So I think all is set. And the last topic is the yeah, XRP uh, grant request from Artilius. Yeah, so let me give you some background. Um, mm -hmm. uh, we have requested a $75,000 grant from uh, Ripple, who is the main contributor to XRPL. And um, we're in the, we've made it all the way through to the, the final interview. And we need to have a screening, a sanctioned screening questionnaire completed by uh, Linux Foundation Legal. So I believe Tracy sent the email across. I don't know if it was you, Defate, or or who it went to, but basically somebody from the CD Foundation has to um, request Legal to complete that uh, screening. Um, I tried to get legal to do it directly, and they said no. <laughs> but uh, so somebody from the the CD Foundation has to request the the legal to do the screening at the, the Linux Foundation level, and um, we've been working with Chris Anasich on this. And um, the money would get if we do get the grant, it gets added to our crowdfunding account, and that's how it would get spent down. So we have all the logistics in place. Um, mm -hmm. We just need the that screening questionnaire uh, completed by the Linux Foundation. So uh, I would go back to Chris if if there's any delay or you're not getting a response. He is um, mm -hmm. essentially the acting GM right now. So okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe another related topic. Uh, so if you talk about LX, LFX crowdfunding, Jenkins project is still waiting for the Linux Foundation to transfer uh, JSOC money to Jenkins uh, LF account. So from Mark last week? Will... Yeah, Sorry. from last, from last week. And okay. from last week, uh, you thought for what it was too. So Mark Waite is handling this topic, but ultimately we raised a few emails in autumn. Uh, there was no response at the time. So I know that one person left who was responsible for that. I'm not sure who takes care of that. So I guess whomever becomes new executive director will have a lot of things to handle with all these logistics. Indeed. Um... Again, it, it's the same answer I have for you. I'm, I'm actually not in any of those emails, but um, it, it would be the actual, it would be Chris to contact yeah. if you need. Yeah, also, yeah, speaking of other pending requests, uh, so inclusive naming initiative membership, um, I spoke uh, to a few people at uh, KubeCon. So current situation is nobody knows who is expected to handle it. Uh, so people point to Priyanka or to Chris directly. Um, so next time I talk to Chris, I will also bring up this topic because we applied nine, nine months ago. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Yep, that's all I got from my side. Mm -hmm. Artelius already have uh, LFX crowdfunding, right? Yes, we have $25 mm -hmm. in our account. Okay. Got to start somewhere. 
Uh, well, we started the same with Jenkins, then somebody transferred three solvent. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, so whatever works. Um, yeah, actually, for Jenkins, if you speak about money, we got another reminder from um, our previous um, uh, Treasury uh, Foundation, so basically software in public interest. They sent us a reminder that we should transfer the money somewhere because well, it's in my hall of shame. Uh, we were supposed to transfer them uh, about one year ago, and then basically everyone got busy and we didn't. Uh, but yeah, so it's just whatever money and cash flows for projects. Right. Okay, so, and I think that's it, but Ultimately, LFX crowdfunding has been super useful. And yeah, so hopefully we will be able to do some mentorship. And uh, one reminder that we dedicated 10,000 uh, to um, CD events. So maybe it makes sense to actually make this money more or less real by creating uh, CD events, LFX uh, mentorship account and transferring their money from what, whatever fund. I mean, I guess it would be direct Linux Foundation transfer, uh, so that uh, we can uh, actually operate this money within CD events community. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll take this section item, uh, money, money, money. And I could give you my routing number and my bank account number if you need it. You can transfer it to me. <laughs> Do you not know it? <laughs> okay. All right, everybody, I have to drop for another meeting. Thank you so much. Yeah, no uh, so I guess we don't have other topics anyway, right? I don't think so. Okay, so Just let's try. One quick update from me. Um, mm -hmm. Best practices, SIG is hoping to get a first launch of the best practices website for cdcon um, but i think we're still having problems getting a subdomain registered so we may we may not be in a position to to do that i mean uh, on the cd foundation yeah so uh, so we're just looking to to register uh, you know best practices.cd.foundation um, and we've put in a couple of applications by different routes um, but so far as I know we haven't had a response yet and by applications by different routes you mean to the CDF yeah okay I'll see um, what I can do with that I, I will I guess speak more with you about it asynchronously Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks a lot for bringing it up. So the website will be basically a cookbook with all the best practices, right? Yeah, so uh, we're, um, we're well on the way to, to having a, a first draft covering you know, all the, um, the, the mm -hmm. large areas of, of the topic. Um, and, and what we'll do is we'll do a if you like a soft launch um, and then encourage people to collaborate to fill in the details on some of the more specific areas yeah um, the one of the websites I really admire in this regards maybe you have seen the inner source patterns so basically it's an source commons community they actually have collaborative uh, work on uh, all these best practices <laughs> and yeah they have a website but actually it's git book and all through pull requests but maybe it's an example of how it could like look like eventually once there is a lot of content because for me it has been super helpful when i was reviewing um, various approaches and various obstacles we needed to handle including our ospa so yeah maybe the same could be could eventually happen for cd and it would be super helpful yeah i think we're uh, well on the way to having that in place already Mm -hmm. That's cool. Thank you. 
Anything else? So if not, uh, let's try to do the next meeting a bit more technical. Um, yeah, maybe we could uh, review technical follow-ups for RomCD events and the discussions because there were many topics brought up, including architecture for projects. Uh, but yeah, let's see whether we have the right people in the room. And actually, next meeting will be the last before CDCon, right? No, CDCon is uh, June 7th and 8th. All right. So do we even do the next meeting? Or do we call it uh, online slash on-site? <laughs> because next meeting would have been on June 7th. I mean, I will have to be entirely occupied with CDCon. So it really is, uh, you know, uh, but I'm not a, a standing member, member of this either. So <laughs> that is for so, you to decide. I'm not going. I'm happy to host if somebody joins. I will be on stage in this slot on the 7th. So uh, you can all come to my talk instead if you like. <laughs> Well, if it's uh, broadcasted, then probably we just say that, okay, we don't uh, do the meeting. So probably there will be whatever lunch or whatever uh, where everyone at CityCon can meet. Uh, yeah. So no meeting, right? But does anybody want to have a meeting? I will bring it in the chat, and if nobody responds, I will cancel it. Okay, so then uh, thanks everyone. Sounds good. Uh, excited to see you all at CDCon and your, watch your talks too. So enjoy. I will be joining remotely uh, for the future of Jenkins talk. I still have no idea when it happens, but yeah, it's something I'll get sorted. Well, it's published. It's uh, my fault that I have no idea because. Yeah, it's on the same. <laughs> yeah, I need to open uh, the agenda and to see what is the time slot for my talk and hope that it's at least before midnight. Okay, now let's see. So, thanks all. Thanks. Thank Bye. You.